made in Hollywood. In the dark comedy, The Oath, Ike Barinholtz and Tiffany Haddish discover that family, politics, and the holidays are always a recipe for disaster. Hi, I'm John Barinholtz. And I'm Meredith Agner. And you are watching Made in Hollywood. This is a scene from The Oath. Enjoy. Today's intense waves seem to have been triggered by the government's announcement of something they are calling the Patriot's Oath, a state-sponsored initiative to have Americans sign a loyalty waiver. Are they serious? Are proud this is crazy. To it publicly. The deadline for signing is the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. Writer, director, this is in your head because... Because I got into a big fight with my family after Thanksgiving 2016, and even though we were pretty much politically aligned, I was thinking, oh man, we have to do a movie that takes place about politics at the Thanksgiving table. And I had her in my head, and I was like, here we go. This is not the America that I know. Christopher, we said, we're not talking politics. I'm not gonna ruin Thanksgiving, I promise. What's it like to know that he had you in his head? And it lets me know that my powers of astral projecting into people's <laughs> dreams is working. I watched a YouTube video on it, and um, I try to Freddy Krueger people's dreams, but in a positive yeah, way. Yeah, she doesn't kill me. Where they it's dream all... about me and they want to give me jobs. She's a pleasant <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but, but people don't know the secrets of my success is I pop up in their dreams. Hey. Yo, yo. Hi, Katie. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. What? Not Katie. Abby. Hopefully. They, you watch this movie and you're like, those people are absurd and Ike's character is absurd and everyone is absurd because our brains are broken from the current environment that we live in and we don't, no one knows how to act. These potatoes are so good. Did you watch the Chris Rock on Late Night? He's racist. <laughs> Chris Rock's not racist, he's best friends with Adam Sandler. That is a fact. You know, it's actually, it's racist to think oh Chris Rock's God. racist. I had such a good time in this film and it was weird because I thought I shouldn't be having such a great time. Yeah. Because it's almost disturbing. Yeah. yeah. But then it's great. Yeah. You're twisted. No, <laughs> that's, true. That was how, that's how I think you're supposed to feel. Yeah, it's how I felt shooting it too. Yeah. Like you're like, this is really fun, but this is very creepy. Turn on the news. What did he do? He lit a copy of the oath on fire in front of some constituents. Oh, that is so not illegal. I love this relationship they had because I thought she was she was so good for him, for your character. Like, did you see all of that when you read the script and they yeah, approached you? Yeah, I totally saw it in the script. And then also just off of our friendship alone, it's like, oh, I just want to support everything that he does. And I feel like the character, that's all she wants. She wants to support her husband. We want people to like be entertained and laugh and stuff, but we also want to knock you around a little bit. So you walk out of there, you're like, I need a drink. Right. <laughs> that's what I want. That was a journey. And the whole idea is there's this oath that people have to sign to uh, be loyal to the president. Yes. And I thought, well, that's far-fetched. I thought that for one second. And then you read <laughs> the news and you're like, oh, it's yeah. happening now. <laughs> yeah, it's a, such a weird, strange world we're living in and it's very absurd and I thought, let's take kind of this absurd world we're living in and just blow it up. Holy 